Latham CPX is a collective pitch helicopter. This particular one has been retrofitted with MIA Tough landing gear for palm size helicopters. This is the universal version, the latest version we are offering. Which also comes with a boom support. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that any metal parts that you add to your helicopter is going to take um, a toll on the flight time. So for that reason we decided not to include any metal hardware to make the attachments to the boom and the uh, rear section of the landing gear for the boom support. The only section that this has metal parts is for attaching the landing gear to the frame, to the existing frame. Those are two small uh, metal screws that we include with the kits. We used to include nylon, some nylon bolts, but we uh, decided to do uh, metal ones on this particular one because this is just a little more, it's a little more serious helicopter, even though it's in the palm size uh, range. The uh, tail boom is simply attached. Let me focus in here on the ends of the uh, carbon rods that are part of the tail support. Uh, these are a couple couplers. These are flex couplers that we also use for other applications in our in our products. And the reason we're using a flex coupler there, which has been CA glued to the rear of the uh, strut supports and also to the carbon rod ends. That's a permanent installation right there. And uh, the uh, flex couplers allow the uh, allow the carbon rods to flex a little bit to give. It's something that I personally like to keep on uh, helicopter setups. I don't like to do things rigidly where they don't need to be rigid. And so this is one of the reasons we included these flex couplers here. Uh, by the same token, on the rear section of the uh, boom support, there's a flex coupler right there. And these on the, on the kits are a little bit longer than what you see them here, so they're able to, to create a V. You need to create a V attach the carbon rods to it and you simply attach that coupling V uh, socket for the carbon rods to the boom, directly to the boom with a little bit of uh, CA glue or hot melt. And basically that's how simple that setup is done. Very easy, very simple in case you need to remove this. Uh, if you use a little bit of hot melt instead of CA glue on the, on the boom support, you can easily uh, remove that by scraping some of the uh, hot glue away and you can uh, change the boom but the idea here with this boom particular boom support is not uh, is, is to um, extend the life of the boom and, and to prevent the boom from cracking uh, as otherwise happens without any support on the on the end we're going as far back to the end of the boom to allow the, a, uh, the triangular section here to provide additional support the further you go here on the support the more um, the more support, the more uh, sturdy the, the boom becomes. So that's the reason we're going there. And the helicopter also looks a little more serious. It looks more like a, a real larger helicopter. The uh, landing gear, as many people already know, is the uh, the tough landing gear that we've been using also for the uh, Wakira helicopters. We started using these on our very own helicopters a while back. And, and I carried uh, that design over to the uh, Wakira helicopters as upgrades. And uh, there, there's no, in, in my opinion, there's no better landing gear than in this particular one for the reasons we've uh, identified and, and explained in, in various threads and in our site. But once again, it's um, particular landing gear is a lot stronger than the, uh, than the stock landing gear. And it also provides not only um, uh, the stability in, in, in the static uh, mode that you see it here when the helicopter sits and takes off from the ground. It also provides dynamic stability by bringing down the uh, uh, the weight of the landing gear a little bit lower from the, uh, the center of gravity here and allows the helicopter to fly a little more stable. So this particular landing gear is for anybody that's looking for a more robust landing gear for their MCPX helicopter. This helicopter has also been retrofitted with a MIA Microflight blade grip safety device here, which is the uh, these two plates here that you see holding the blade grips 
at the top and at the bottom. There's a hole right up on this uh, in our site and also on YouTube via our videos. So I won't go too much into the explanation of this as I think um, everything is there. But anyway, these are the new blade grips that were supplied by Horizon after they had issue with the first ones. And even though they're the new blade grips and they're supposed to be a little bit uh, safer, we're still using this particular blade grip safety device just to just in case for added uh, protection and peace of mind. Uh, we are showing here the uh, these upgrades on the blade MCPX with uh, stock canopy. However, if you're looking for a different canopy, please look at our site for other options. We have the S300s which we'll be doing for the uh, blade uh, also for the blade MCPX helicopter that we did earlier for the MCX and the MSR. We also have the Hughes 500 which uh, a lot of people are already familiar with and uh, many guys have been flying their MSRs with the uh, MD500E skill bodies that will also fit on the blade MCPX and that's something we're going to be adding to our site very soon so please visit us at www.microflight.com for other upgrades and information regarding uh, the cool things that you can do to your particular pump size helicopter regardless of brand Night Eagles, Wakira, Blade, E-Flight um, Helimax and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching.